In this Future Music tutorial video, we're going to use several stages of saturation and distortion to warm up this track. So here we're playing the unprocessed version. And here's the processed version. Here's a house track we've created at 128 BPM. The mix is relatively balanced, but its overall cohesion, tone and weight could be improved with touches of warmth here and there. So we're going to use saturation and distortion plugins to do that. Let's start with the kick bus. The track's kick is comprised of two layers. There's a main kick sample which provides the bulk of the sound. And then there's a shorter treble click which adds top end detail in the mix. So we've routed these two sounds to a single bus and we've applied Native Instruments driver over this group. And what we've done is turned up driver's input knob so this pushes the two layers into the plugin's drive stage. This kind of drive will obviously make our signal louder, so we can compensate for this by pulling back the output knob to re-level things. This subtle distortion adds harmonics to our overall kick, gelling the layers together as one. And by turning driver on and off, you can hear the gentle distortion and glue that's being added to the layers here. Now, to tame the crack of the sharp snare, we've applied a liberal dose of tape saturation with Yuhi's Satin plugin. And what this does is reduces the snare's peak level by roughly 5 dB, claiming back mix headroom while adding a touch of fizz and average weight to the hit. So you can see there that we've claimed back roughly 5 dB of headroom. And the toms in the groove provide weight between the kicks, but this tom groove is made up of separate samples here. So some tape saturation via Fab Filter Saturn crunches these individual hits together as one, adding harmonics and levelling the sounds out. Electronic hi-hats can sound overly bright, so distortion is a great way to remove digital harshness. So now the UAD Moog filter plugin is adding grit to the hats via its drive stage. So we've pushed this up here. And the plugin's filter also rolls off a bit of top end, but we've pulled back the mix knob to blend this filtered signal with the dry signal. So as we turn the plugin on and off, you can hear how that's really adding bite to the hats. And this kind of saturation and distortion can often add unwanted low end rumble. So what we've done is roll this off with an EQ here. And on the EQ's frequency analyzer, you can also see the extra upper mid harmonics that the distortion has added to the sound. And you can definitely see that as we turn the drive plugin on and off. Now, 
Next, some tape saturation from Slate Digital's VTM is smoothly gluing our drum group together, chopping off any sharp peaks here. And after this, the UAD API Vision Channel Strips preamp gain is being pushed really hard. And these two processes, they serve to gently roll off highs, producing harsh transients, and it's also gluing things together. And what we can do here is use two oscilloscope plugins. We can place one either side of our two drive plugins here. And by looking at the waveform in real time, we can see how we've gained some mixed headroom and we've smoothly clipped off the transients. But as you can hear, there's not really any noticeable artifacts. So it's really great for claiming back mixed headroom and just gelling things together. Now here we've got our synth parts all grouped to a single synth group um, and they all sound a bit dull, a little bit clean. And the thing with synth parts is you can get a bit more heavy handed with them and apply some harsher distortion. So what we've done to brighten these up, we've added an instance of Isotopes Trash 2 across the synth group and we've selected one of the really extreme wave shaping presets. So this applies some really wild squealy distortion to the channel and we've used the wet and dry mix here to only mix in a small amount. If we put this up to full you can really hear what that's doing to the sound. We don't want to destroy it that much. So we're just mixing in a tiny bit here. So it's just adding top end fizz in the mix without overpowering the sound's original character. After this in the chain, we're using a touch of Kush Audio's Pusher just to apply a bit of unique saturation and leveling just to level out the synth loop in quite a harmonically pleasing way. And to finish off the mix, the UAD Studio A800 plugin is loaded over the master output, so we're emulating the process of running the mix hot to tape. And this kind of tape saturation really tames transients in a more musical way than compression or limiting would, and also adds harmonic weight to the lows of the kick and toms. So all of our various stages of processing have been quite subtle, but when we AB our original track here with the newly processed version, we'll flick between them, you can hear how the various drive stages have really added some subtle glue and punch, with the added bonus of peak and dynamic control. So there, that's one way you can apply small stages of saturation and distortion throughout a mix to really bring it together and take off digital harshness. Thank you.